Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Trump is right. Obama killed far more people than Putin. By Baxter Dmitry. When President Trump said you think our country's so innocent. To Bill O'Reilly on Fox News he showed why he is the most effective politician in the country right now. By cutting straight through the crap and speaking to people on the level they deserve, Trump proved he is the leader for our times. Establishment politicians have lost the voters because they continue pushing out-of-date clichés and easily seen-through lies. People are tired of politicians talking down to them, assuming they are stupid, and believing they will fall for the same old three-card trick. Trump tells it like it is. Warts and all. And he was right. America isn't so innocent. As hard as this is for the shadowy elite to accept, Americans saw through them long ago. They have witnessed eight years of Obama. They don't want to be mollycoddled with hope and change BS. They want leaders who talk to them like adults. Trump's predecessor in the Oval Office may have talked a good game, but the simple fact is he killed far more people than the Democrats' boogeyman in the Kremlin. Bernus Log if you take every single war that Putin has overseen, either as president or as prime minister, and include his extrajudicial killings and assassinations of political rivals, you still get nowhere near the body count of the Bush and Obama administrations. Adding the least conservative estimates of the total death tolls of the Second Chechen War, the Russo-Georgian War, the undeclared warfare in Donbass and elsewhere in Ukraine, the insurgency in the North Caucasus, Russia's involvement in the Syrian conflict, and a sprinkling of assassinations and disappearances, you get around 300,000 deaths. The least conservative estimates of America's Iraq invasion alone are over a million deaths, which is 5% of the population of the entire country. That's more than enough to make my point, but feel free to add in the tens of thousands of killings in Afghanistan, the tens of thousands killed in America's unforgivable toppling of Gaddafi in Libya the unknowable number of people killed in Obama's drone strikes, ten times as many as Bush, and the hundreds of thousands killed in the Syrian conflict, largely due to America's fanning the flames of insurgency and actively arming terrorist groups with the goal of toppling the Syrian government, and any of the seven countries Obama has dropped tens of thousands of bombs on every year. So, maybe when someone suggests that America has no room to talk when it comes to the subject of killings, they're not doing something outrageous or unreasonable. This doesn't excuse the actions of Putin, but the rest of the world would be grateful if America could go ahead and drop the holier-than-thou shtick when it comes to violently ending people's lives. A lot more self-awareness from the most powerful military force on the planet can only be a good thing. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is... TBNN.